Hey everyone, everyone from the vault here. Welcome back to more Fallout 3. We're gonna go ahead and jump right back in. So see you back in just a sec. Pretty impressive work for a civilian, bringing the doctor here in one piece. Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Commander of Lyons Pride. Welcome to the Citadel. All right, uh, any thoughts on the Enclave? I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow. If my father permits it. Oh, Care to share anything about super mutants? You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... If not, you have another 20 years of fighting them? What can you tell me about Lion's Pride? It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Is that a challenge? Stay strong. I am strong. In fact, I think I might be the strongest one in here. No Alexia, offense. You've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Just... just I know, I know that's how the military works, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. So I've got a lot of work to do. All right, any thoughts on the Enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back. Fucking cowards. Thank you. I agree. Care to share anything about super mutants? Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. Yeah, 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 yeah. If All you'll right. excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Why are they fish? Why fish? Uh, I don't think the paladin gunny would be very happy if you saw me talking to an outsider. Why do you call me that? Uh, I don't think the Paladin Gunny would be very happy. Look, I am just trying to get to know the place and to know the boys and the girls. What? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm just an initiate. Go away! You're gonna get me chewed out. <laughs> I'm a child. Everybody give me a break. I'm just a little child. Um, I don't think the Paladin Gunny would be very happy. Um, you guys are all big babies. All right, let's go on a little exploration. Wee! Boy, love sleeping in here, huh? You gotta love that there's doors, <laughs> but there isn't one there. Wee! Let's just look around the place. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Hey, hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, so listen, thanks and all. Really great job you did there. That's, that's it? What do you need? Garza. And I have work to do. I just saved your life, you idiot. No! Ah, Daniel! <laughs> I didn't get to yell at Daniel. All right, let's see. Um, I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go, actually. I think I do have to go in there. All right, let's go find baby Maxon. And everyone else. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna find Finding everybody. Your way about, all right. Yeah, except everyone's in my way. Y'all should get out of my way. I'm busy. I have to talk to every single person. Even though they won't talk to me. Long live Elder Lion. Yeah, sure. There, are, there you are. Okay. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of Elder Lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now what may I do to help you? Uh, you knew my father? I did, and you as well. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. He was a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. Uh, 
I, I don't know if I want to think about the meaning of my death, but sure. Um, I loved him so much and I'll never forget him. Uh, what does it matter? A man dies, death is death. He lived, he died as he lived, a selfish asshole. No. And so our deeds are carried on through our sons and our daughters. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story and continue to do his work. Through you, he shall carry on. But now I must ask you a difficult question. If I have your leave to do so. Uh, I guess, by all means. I escorted your father across the wastes. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. Uh, what about the Enclave? As a Star Paladin, I answer only to Elder Lions. He has given me leave to pursue the restoration of Project Purity as I see fit. By aiding you in your travels, I shall fulfill that mission as best I am capable. Sure. Then I shall follow your lead and submit to your command. As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here. Now, let us go forward. Crush the Enclave and fulfill your father's mission. Absolutely not. I mean, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you it's okay, and then I'm going to switch right back to Sharon because, like, let's just make sure Sharon's still following us. Cool. Okay. Uh, do do do. What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Oh, guess what? No. <laughs> All this time spent acquiring technology, and we look like cavemen. I mean, look how you're dressed. But I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Look at what you're wearing. This is why you're not getting shit done. Hmm. All right. Thanks for the information. I saw that you completed your test. What was all what might be causing the leak? Power systems are you are ninety percent of startups that are running at thirty-seven percent efficiency. There's so much to listen to. I can't listen to it all. Absolutely not. I refuse to pay attention to what I'm doing. What do you need? Nothing. Still. Fine. Fine. Listen, thanks for getting us through that. I'm not stupid. I know we wouldn't have made it without you. I'm sorry about your dad, and I'm sorry I've acted like an ass. It's about damn time. Great. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Yeah, sure. Whatever. You can stop being a dick. You're already being a dick again. Jesus. Boy, this place is something else, isn't it? Really amazing stuff here. Yeah. Catch you around. Alex is so sweet. He's like so nice. Why? <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Do I have all three of them now? I swear to God. When I played on the PlayStation version, I did not have three companions at any point. Did I just miss that you could do that on the PlayStation? I just didn't know. I I just let her, I told her that she could follow us just so I could hear the, the dialogue. Interesting, okay. Dummy terminal. <laughs> I guess so. I guess it sure is a dumb terminal. All right, let's see. Where else can we wander? I want to wander Welcome. before we commit to any, uh, or we commit to anything, really. So let's go to the Great Hall and a ring. We have lots of, uh, holo tags that we can bring through. Hello? I will serve the Citadel and Elder Lions until my dying breath. Is there any other virus with your presence? I mean, yes, I can think of a lot of better lives. You've managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Yes. Not many civilians get to see the place. Okay. Stay strong. I don't know why you implied that I'd get in trouble. I didn't do anything yet. Yet. You honor us with your presence here. Sure I do. Oh. Max and Max Max and family. Why do I keep wanting to say Maxim? 
Max and family dossier. All right, let's go through. Born NA, died 2135. Second command of the security team stationed at the West Tech Research Facility, later relocated to the Mariposa military base, which is where super mutants come from. Anyway, assumed command after nervous breakdown of security team leader Colonel Robert Spindle, executed scientists after learning of their research into the forced evolutionary virus or FEV, deserted from military just before the war, Maxon ordered the families of all base personnel brought inside the facility, therefore sparing their lives, led survivors in their exodus to the Lost Hills bunker, Maxon's wife was killed on the journey. At Lost Hills, Roger Maxon formed the Brotherhood of Steel as the organization's first high elder, he formed the Order of Paladins, Knights, and Scribes. Maxon II, born N.A., teenager of unspecified age in 2077, died in 2155. Took over command of the Brotherhood of Steel as High Elder in 2135 when his father, Roger Maxon, died of cancer in 2155 while hunting down a group of raiders known as the Vipers. Maxon, who was unhelmeted at the time, was grazed in the head by an arrow. A deadly viper poison killed him within hours. John Maxon died, to, or born, excuse me, 2097, died N.A., son of Maxon II and grandson of Roger Maxon, a gifted soldier. John Maxon was promoted to the highest rank of paladin at 38 in the year 2135. Soon after, he was promoted once more to head paladin. In 2155, Maxon was promoted to the illustrious position of high elder when his father, Maxon Two or the second. I know. I shouldn't say two. I should say the second. Was killed in glorious battle with the Vi raiders known as the Vipers. Glorious battle. Records indicate John Maxon had some dealings with a mysterious figure identified only as Vault Dweller in the year 2162 at the age of 65. Ha ha ha. New entry scribe Arthur Maxon. Oh, Arthur. Only son of Jonathan and Jessica, both deceased, last of the Maxon bloodline, as an infant sent to the Citadel to be fostered by Elder Owen Lyons. The reason for his decision was twofold. Recent internal conflict amongst the Western Brotherhood of Steel created an unsafe environment for the child. It was believed that the Citadel, despite being located in hostile territory, would increase his probability of survival. Elder Lyons at the time was in high favor with the Western Elders and deemed a perfect candidate it to provide care and training to the squire. Recent events have led to a lack of communication with the Western elders. As a result, Squire Maxon will remain at the Citadel indefinitely. Oh, State of Maxon. The State of Maxon in the New California Republican was built in close proximity to the Lost Hills bunker and enjoyed the protection of the Brotherhood of Steel. No additional information is available at this time. Diary of Roger Maxon. Oh my gosh. Are we going to read all of this? I guess we are. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at dyslexia. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to read out loud sometimes. All right, here we go. I, Roger Maxon, Captain Serial Number 072389, have started this log because it doesn't look good for any of us, and I'd like for people to know what really happened here. All hell broke loose when we finally discovered that those scientist bastards were up to. The colonel has locked himself in his office and seems to be having some sort of breakdown. The men are screaming for blood. They're looking, for me for an looking to me for answers, and I'm not sure what to do. Someone has to do something, though, before this place sinks into an anarchist bloodbath. Bath. Ooh, I love a good bloodbath. Every time we get a report from higher ups, things get worse here. The war is going in a very bad direction, and this place is about to go into full mutiny with all the chaos that entails. I stopped one of the men from executing a scientist today and demanded that we interrogate them to find out what their orders were. I killed a man today. I was interrogating Chief Scientist Anderson and he was giving me the full details of their inhumane experience, experiments. He said his orders came from the government, but I didn't buy it. He started screaming about how he was following orders, how he was just a military man, and I just shot him. I tell myself it was to keep him from causing a full mutiny among the men, but I'm not so sure. Was that the 15th? No, okay. I tried again to speak to the colonel through the door, but he seems to be, have completely lost touch with reality. I broke down the door with several of the men just in time to watch him blow his head off. Right before he pulled the trigger, he said he was sorry. 
By killing the egghead, I seem to have confirmed my position as leader of the men. They follow me without question now. The interrogations invariably end up being executions. Shellman hel held out the longest, but the end result was the same. Her arguments about her orders were a bit too specific to be completely made up. I'm getting a real bad feeling in my gut about how this is all going to end. I don't even lie to myself anymore about my reasons for executing the scientists. I finally replied to the outside world over our radio. I don't know why they never sent anyone here to see what happened when we stopped responding to their transmissions. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they'll come now. I declared ourselves seceded from the Union. They remember Jefferson Davis. What will history say about me? All right, volume two. What the hell is going on? We declare ourselves to be in full desertion from the army and no longer under the government's command. And what happens? Nothing. Something bad is coming. I can't believe those bastards finally did it. Damn them all to hell. They finally let the A-bombs fly. We were right in the middle of trying to pry the real story out of Felden when we completely lost contact. I have a feeling the research center was hit hard. I don't know why. Just call it a gut feeling. It seems inconceivable that we're not... That we were not targeted, sorry. I'm sure China will make up for that oversight real soon. Luckily, we had moved our families from outside into the facility the day before yesterday. We do not yet know if the fallout has reached this area. I, I just clicked that one. Okay, 25. Sergeant Plattner... Plattner? Yeah. Volunteered to go outside today to take specific readings on the atmosphere. It seems the radiation has not spread this far. Since he was wearing his power armor, there was no threat to him from radiation. But if he had been exposed, he would have had to have been exiled. We don't have adequate decontamination de facilities. I convinced the men that we should bury the scientists. I don't know why. Perhaps it was to ease my conscience. I finally started to believe their stories when the last one was dying. My god, what have I become? We're leaving this godforsaken place today. I'm leading the exodus to the old government bunker at Lost Hills. I'm leaving this log behind to be buried when this place goes in in the next exchange. Oh my goodness. Who knows? Maybe someday, maybe someone will find it someday. I can read. I swear to God. All right. There we, I did so much reading. Everybody Something be proud good. of me. Be proud of me. All right. Report on UFO codenamed Paladin. Further investigations into the UFO codenamed Palandine have confirmed our suspicions. On the evening of May 3rd, 2062, an alien craft of unknown make and origin did indeed breach the airspace just north of Hagerstown, Maryland, and crashed into a heavily wooded non-residential area. Unfortunately, attempts to retrieve the craft proved unsuccessful. It simply could not be located, either due to some kind of advanced invisibility shielding or because the occupants managed to make repairs and vacate the crash site before our arrival. Despite our failure of recovery, the significance of this event cannot be denied. We're not alone. The truth is out there. Project Brains Brainstorm. Brainstorm Military Slash Cultural Center 2076 Progress Report. Our flagship project, the Induced Patriotism Initiative, has met with resounding success. Our agents have successfully included covert and overt messages of extreme patriotism and loyalty into popular media ranging from the big screen to the Sunday funnies. Increased military enrollment among target demographics serves to underline the success. Agent Webb has been particularly effective at influencing the music industry, and he he has interesting proposals from the fields of organized sports and even such notoriously difficult markets as comic books and toys. A success in these areas would ensure early education with our message and thus ensure a more dedicated and devoted nation for us all. Let's call it what it is. It is called propaganda. And America's very good at it. Code name. Fluencia? I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm sorry. I am a wildlife biologist. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I read was cloaca. And I was like, what does a bird's shitter have to do with it? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Development report. Development of the mutant undermining life form continues a pace. A pace is a weird word. And our chief bioengineers are certain that they will be able to perform 
perfect these living weapons in time for deployment into Red China. Once covertly released into an enemy's environment, their aggressive qualities, dangerous hunger, and pervasive breeding should severely undermine the infrastructure of the location in short order, softening the target for ground invasion. At this point, the genetic kill switch can be activated, allowing for easy reclamation, not including a significant one-time cleanup effort. Current MUL development primarily uses a genetic stock of rodents, particularly the common sewer rat, and progress has been significant. FEV testing has been rejected, however, as the results are sterile. Oh boy. The Brotherhood is at your it did so much feeding. <laughs> My brain hurts. Oh, what in the dyslexia. I have to say that font, it should be bad, because it's, it's, you know, like not the greatest font for for dyslexia, but the black background really, really helps me. I don't know if any of y'all have that, uh, I know there's at least one person in the, in the comments who is also dyslexic. By the way, I see you just, just dyslexic pride. <laughs> we're, we're cool people. What can I say? Us dyslexics. But, uh, the black helps. I find that black is a lot easier for me to read than white. Like a lot of my, my coworkers use just the regular old, um, like whatever what aid can I offer you outsider I don't like how close you are to me of course <laughs> it makes me feel weird um a lot of people like I work with use the standard you know white background for their uh their word docs and shit and I can't I actually can't really read them so it's like a huge problem for me but thankfully new versions of word have so many accessibility options which is awesome Uh, you become a goo man. Glad to see you and that egghead Lee made it here in one piece. I heard what happened to that purifier. Hell of a thing. Yeah, any thoughts on the Enclave? Man, I don't know. Fighting uglies is one thing, but we've never gone up against anyone that well trained or organized. Even their tech is better. Don't get me wrong, the pride's in it to win it. And I'll go down shooting if I have to. I just hope I don't have to. All right, super mutants. Man, nothing dies like an ugly. I once saw Colvin snipe the leg off one at two hundred yards. Thing pirouetted like a figure skater. Excuse me, but dancers also pirouette. I, I danced for a very long time. Uh, what can you tell me about Lion's Pride? You, my friend, are talking about the most elite fighting force ever assembled within the Brotherhood of Steel. Each of us was handpicked by Sentinel Lions herself. You can't even realize what an honor that is. Sarah defines combat excellence. Sarah hasn't fought with me yet. Me? Heavy weapons, mini guns, missile launchers. If it's bigger than a human and goes boom, I'm all over it. Of course. Of course you are. 